Mighty nature. That is what Montalcini is about. Well, take this soil for instance. This clay is so tough that basically nothing can really be cultivated here. Unless, well, unless you know how to work this land on a daily basis to allow life to grow in just a piece of clay. You gotta work every day to make sure that the roots of these vines can actually survive and go deep down looking for water. In every culture, a mountain is a symbol of strength is the symbol of our strength, but also is the symbol that makes us feel small, tiny, in comparison to the mighty nature. Monte Amiata used to be an extinct volcano. With these 1,700 meters above the sea level, you have to imagine how this presence is visible from any corner of Montalcino. So everywhere you are, this is a lighthouse. This has been a lighthouse for millennia. And this mountain has been giving food to the local people. Is in a way a protector, but it was also something to remind how scary nature can be. Look at this. This is how loose the soil is on this south end of Montalcino. This sand reminds us of something very, very important for this place. There used to be an ocean millions and millions of years ago. This ocean was so big that it was found a fossil of a skeleton of a whale. Imagine now the roots of the vine need to go deep down to look for water once again. And those fossils is what they're gonna find. So complexity, they're gonna suck up all those minerals and that is gonna be transferred one way or another into the wine. You know what I'm thinking? Most wine regions are so packed with vines that it's sometimes difficult to find a tree, even one tree. The only spots where vineyards are not about sometimes are the roads alone. Well, in Montalcino Oasis, the miracle is also due to the fact that one of the four borders the western slope is actually an entire forest. So you're saying the forest has anything to do with wine? Absolutely, absolutely. It's the fact that here no vine can get in. This is to allow biodiversity into the oasis of Montalcino.
The contrast of the warmth of this environment, the glass of wine in my hand, after traveling across the land of Montalcino, through the desert of the Crater Senesi, over to the Amiata with these really thousands and thousands of years of fire, one way or another still alive in that mountain, moving into its contrast element, water with the Mediterranean Sea that is bringing so much importance to the climate of this area. And finally, finishing off our journey with the natural power of the forest, the Val d'Orcia, bringing clean air to the whole environment. If you think about it, nature in Montalcini is so mighty, somehow even violent, and wine is the symbol of human beings taming this nature. In a way, it's a true symbol of civilization. And hopefully in this glass of wine of Brunello di Montalcino, I'm gonna get all of this. This is the miracle of Montalcino. <laughs>